here in Uptown Charlotte, we welcome in head coach Jim Laranega with Miami. Coach, we've got microphones set up on both sides of the room, so we will get the mics to our folks as quickly as we can. We've got about 12 minutes with Coach, so we'll take the first question from the floor. Show of hands. Coach, we're going to go to your left front row. Coach Dan Tortora, wake up call, DT.com. Just what you can say about, you know, over the, the past few seasons, how you've seen that influx in recruiting, just what you're getting successfully on the recruiting trail as you continue to improve this team and go forward. Uh, well, recruiting in the ACC uh, basically means uh, you're going to be competing against NBA caliber players every single night. And I have a great assistant coaching staff. They're always out there searching for players that we think can compete at the highest level. We've been very, very fortunate uh, since arriving at Miami uh, to find the guys that we think fit our program, fit our style of play, and are also terrific students who fit the profile for a University of Miami student athlete. Um, we've got a, a good group right now. Uh, we're led by Jaquan Newton and Bruce Brown, DJ Vasilovich, uh, guys who have experience and uh, uh, are doing a great job in, in terms of leadership with our team, and we're excited about getting the season started. Coach, still on the left in the very back, standing next to the curtain. Uh, afternoon, Coach Mike from Spectrum News. Um, you spoke the other day in saying that uh, you believed you were coach number three in, in the FBI investigation. And my question is, um, you, you said that nothing had done, uh, wrong had been done. Have you spoken to your athletic director, um, and, and how do you kind of try to prevent that from being a distraction as we enter the season here? Uh, well, first of all, I, I would just like to say I, I appreciate and understand any questions in regard to, to uh, uh, the issue. Um, but quite frankly, I, I'd like you to just go back to uh, my comments on Monday. Uh, in terms of, of uh, my conversations with our athletic director, we met with our team the day that this uh, broke in the news uh, for three minutes. Uh, that conversation is the last conversation we've had with our players. We've just been very, very focused on practicing and getting ready for this season. Staying on the left side, seated at the very back. Bob Holiday, WRL.com. You lost a couple of important players, Devon Reed and, and Kamari Murphy. Uh, Murphy particularly scored points inside for you. As you mentioned, you returned two fine all-court players. Um, are you going to be more perimeter-oriented this year, or, or do you see someone else scoring inside as Murphy did? Well, I, I think the uh, two seniors that we lost, Davon Reed and Kamari Murphy, uh, where we're going to miss them the most is at the defensive end of the floor. Their individual defense, their team defense, and their rebounding are going to be very, very hard to replace uh, because young guys, as talented as I think our young guys are, uh, they're not used to playing against NBA caliber players every single day at the defensive end. Uh, but at the other end of the court, I think we have – more offensive firepower than we did last year, and maybe as much as we did the year before when we had Angel Rodriguez, Sheldon McClellan, and Davon Reed all on the perimeter with a Jaquan Newton coming in off the bench. Uh, our, our freshman and sophomore class is, is very, very talented, uh, and I think we're going to be able to score points. I just don't know if we're going to be able to stop anybody. Coach, we're going to go to our right, uh, to the far right fourth row. Uh, Ed Harden, Greensboro News and Record. They're going to put together a bunch of task forces and commissions to study the situation in college basketball here pretty soon. If they come to you, what are you do you have any ideas? You know, what are they looking for? How are they going to fix this? I have no idea. And, you know, I, anything in regard to, to uh, uh, this issue, I, I have to go back and just say I appreciate and understand uh, questions in this regard. Um, but at, at this point in time, uh, I don't have any answers. Uh, I don't know all the circumstances and, and feel like it's inappropriate because it's an ongoing investigation. Coach, from the podium here, you talked about a good crew of young players and they have to be the right fit. Bruce Brown, his freshman year, academic honor roll, first time he admitted this morning that he's ever been on an academic honor roll. Uh, talk about him as a person both on and off the floor. 
Well, I think many of the guys on our team have very unique personalities and are so much fun to be around. Bruce Brown is a very high energy young man. He's always smiling. He's a tremendous competitor. Uh, he, he loves playing. Uh, he's worked so hard on his game. Uh, he's projected uh, at some point in time to, to be an NBA first round pick. Uh, and, and I think he is that. I think he's, he's talented offensively, defensively, rebounding wise. And his uh, super enthusiasm and energy uh, is very evident every day in practice. Other questions for Coach from the floor? Coach will go to the uh, back row left, right at the aisle. Uh, Coach Ryan Leonard for the ACC.com. Um, with such a dominant backcourt in Bruce Brown and Jaquan Newton, um, will it be challenging or easy to, uh, to fit your new freshman class into the starting rotation uh, with uh, Chris Likes and the other players? Well, we, we feel like, like uh, we've got a lot of talented guards, and we're going to be starting three of them, and there'll be uh, two of them coming in off the bench. And I don't think it matters whether you start or come in off the bench. You're going to play a, a major role for us. Uh, when you look at uh, Jaquan Newton, Bruce Brown, and DJ Vasilovich, they're our veteran players. They have the experience. And then we have Chris Likes and, and Lonnie Walker, who are just uh, tremendous uh, kids and, and, and athletes and terrific basketball players. So we're going to find plenty of playing time for both of them as well. So those five guys are going to be a major part of our offensive attack. But for us to be successful, they got to become great defensive players. Coach, we'll go back to Bob Holiday, fifth row left. Zindu, I believe, went to school here in Charlotte. What do you look for from him this year? He certainly had some moments last year. Yeah, Abuka Zindu, um, who's originally from Nigeria, but played at Victory Christian here in Charlotte. I uh, came in as a freshman. He only weighed 201 pounds. He couldn't bench even 200 pounds at the time. He's now uh, 230 pounds, benching over 300 pounds. Uh, he's grown into a man, and he's playing like that in practice. We're very, very confident in him. He's doing a great job, and uh, um, I think offensively, if, if he had the same confidence in himself that I have in him, he'd be an all-league player. Uh, he, he could be that good. Coach, from the podium here, are there postmarks during the course of preseason or during the season in which you want to be here by this time? Or there by that time? Well, we always have, you know, short, short range and long range plans. Uh, we have goals that we set for ourselves. Um, one of the things we do is, is we try to track our numbers to see if we're improving in the areas that we want to improve in. Uh, one of the challenges for our players is we, we have a drill that's named after Kevin Durant. So the KD three minute shooting drill. And our, our goal is for our guys to score 100 points in three minutes. And most of them can't do it. DJ Vasilovich scored 159 yesterday. That was pretty spectacular. If all our guys could, could reach that, we'd be awfully hard to beat. What was the secret for him hitting 159? He didn't miss. <laughs> for three solid minutes, he missed four shots in three minutes. So. Um, I don't know how many, I, I was not watching, I was watching the big guys shoot. I think if you combined our six big guys, they didn't get to 159. <laughs> That's a joke. Don't <laughs> tell them I said that. It's out there for the world to see right now. I think they'll, they'll see it somewhere. Oh, no. <laughs> Any other questions for Coach while we have him? Kremens, you don't have a question? We've been asking Coach for the last three or four years to please raise and ask, but... He's been a great participant, taking a lot of good notes. All right, Coach, we'll let you go. Thank you. Thank you for your time.